New at noon, traffic flowing once again on I-95 in St. John's County. There were headaches throughout the course of the morning when an accident shut down two southbound lanes. Engineers with FDOT continue inspecting the County Road 214 bridge that goes over 95. Live look through our Florida DOT cameras, what you were just looking at to give you perspective on the closure. It was near exit 315. It was all because a dump truck heading southbound hit the overpass about 3 this morning. Again, all the roads are open on 95, but 214 remains closed. There were major backups throughout the course of the day. Look, you can see what happened is after the dump truck hit the bridge, there was cement that fell from the overpass. It littered the roadway. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live from County Road 214. Ashley, you've talked with several people who were surprised to see that they couldn't get across the bridge. They certainly were surprised. You know, throughout the morning, we have been seeing people pulling up here, and they tell us that there are houses on the other side of that overpass, and a lot of people pulled up here, and they were surprised to find that they were being forced to turn around, and I'll show you why. You can see here that it is still blocked off, and you know, it is a two-lane, two-way road overpass, and again, there are homes on the other side there. We did see FDOT engineers there a little while ago, and again, a spokesperson tells me as of now, there's still not a time frame of when this road will be reopened and again inspections do take some time but this is video from this morning shortly after the dump truck hit the overpass we've learned the clearance for that overpass we've learned from FDOT is just over 13 feet now in that video you can not only see the damage but there are also parts of the dump truck that appears to be turned over and now this is video showing a county road 214 again inspectors were here inspecting that bridge and we spoke to several people including one man who says he does live in this area but he travels through travels through this overpass a couple times a week and he was among the many who found that they could not pass this morning this is what he told us it's incredibly frustrating because there's no quick ways to get around you either have to go all the way around 16 and come up and around which is probably uh, you know half an hour if not longer And a couple of people told us something similar this morning. Now, we also checked with FDOT's data, and it shows that the last time this bridge was inspected was in 2017. Of course, we're going to monitor these developments, and when this does reopen, we, of course, will let our viewers know. Bruce, I'll send it back to you. Actually, one of the things that takes so long is they've actually got to, to test the structural integrity of the bridge because they don't want to take any chances.